Well, as we continue our storm coverage, we move out to Taylor County where residents experience some high winds. 41 NBC's Cameron Branscombe spoke with the Taylor County EMA director about the storms and their efforts there. David Windham and the Taylor County EMA were preparing for the storms early Tuesday morning. To be in, in response to it from the beginning, um, we actually started the day before with weather briefings um, throughout the county with different agencies, um, so we're all on the same page. We've had great response. Um, our people are working countless hours trying to trying to make Taylor County a safe place to be. The storm damage caused down trees and power lines. Wyndham says EMA crews have identified a number of homes impacted. We have identified about 25, uh, 22 structures that have had some kind of damage and that are them are the two, out of the 22 are, are homes uh, that are being lived in. Wyndham was not able to confirm if a tornado touched down. He asked residents impacted by the storms to stay off of the roads if possible and allow crews to clean up any damage. You know if, if we are impacted today just please be aware of down trees, roads not being impassable and you know giving our emergency crews and our public work crews the opportunity to get out there and assess the damage and make sure that it's free of any damage so we don't have any accidents. Wyndham says there are currently not any shelters open for those who were impacted by the storm, but he suggests calling 911 if you need assistance. Reporting in Taylor County, Cameron Branscombe, 41 NBC News.